Hi! What kind of wine glasses do you normally use to drink the wine at home? Today's video is a dive into the world of wine glasses. We're going to explore how different shapes and styles can impact your wine drinking experience. As you know, there are many different kinds of wine glasses out there, each one claiming to enhance the flavor and aromas in the wine. Today we're going to put that to the test. First glass is Zalto Dencart Collection, $85 on the Wine Enthusiast website. It's very light, the stem is very thin and it looks very important and a little bit of a nightmare to hand clean. The site recommends using a dishwasher. The Zalto Dencart Burgundy glass is recommended for powerful and expressive wines above 13% alcohol. The shape of the bowl integrates the components of the wine, bringing to the foreground the fruit and the sweeter notes especially for Pinot Noir, Nebbiolo, Barbera, Chardonnay, Gruner Wettliner and Cognac. Josephine and Hütte. Josephine, number three. 60 euro on the company website. Different look here. Much more angular and square. A little bit more contemporary and hip. It's also very light. The stem is a little thicker and feels a little more sturdy in comparison to the Zalto. Also, dishwasher safe but hand washing is recommended on their website also for full-bodied wines we are a piemonte wine club after all little wine wings for pinot noir and nebbiolo 29 euros on the company website it's kind of in between the two in terms of how it feels uh, it's just as big uh, the stem is a little thicker than the zalto and the look is a little less edgy than the josephine and hutte I personally love the design. It's also dishwasher safe. Shout out to Riddle for their website. There is a dedicated page about glass care and it's absolutely perfect. Great job. Let's test it in the most professional and objective way possible with a blindfold. Oh boy. <laughs> I just... <laughs> okay. With. Um... This one is a glass that is showing less fruit and more ethereal, herbal tones. And it's the same wine, obviously, but it's so different. I'm tasting the more of the botanical tones here in the, the fennel, the licorice. This one has definitely more fruit. I'm tasting more of the cranberry, the strawberry, the cherry jam. And a little bit of the licorice as well. Mm. This is a good mix between the two. And as, as I remember correctly, it's the one that I like the best on the, um, on the mouthfeel. This is my favorite for taste. And this is my favorite for smell. Moment of truth. Oh wow, this is, this was so great on the nose, such a pure definition on the fruit and I kind of like this one better for the, um, for the way it just, as a overall, as a, I would be in between these two. In conclusion, should you invest some money on Glassware, yes. Glasses like this are definitely going to elevate your wine drinking experience. But at the end of the day, we're talking about perception. So it's absolutely subjective. There's no really one rule fits all kind of a thing. Just feel free to experiment, try different wine glasses and have fun. Let us know which are your favorite wine glasses. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe like this video and see you in the next one.